in the homework, you guys are going to have a handful of these where you need to simplify, and it's going to say, write in standard form. So write in standard form. What does that mean? Well, right now you see, and let me, oops, right. You can see we have this fraction, all right? And when it's in standard form, we'll just have a real part plus an imaginary part. Whereas right now we have a square root of negative 12. It's not written in I form. We have one fraction. Uh, so right now the real and imaginary parts are combined. So let's work on cleaning this up a little bit and let's talk uh, slowly through the steps of not only what to do but what not to do to save you guys from making mistakes on the first exam. Alright, the very first step I'm going to do, which is the first step I always do when I'm working with these negative radicands, is to simply pull out an I. So my first step is to write negative 14 plus I the square root of 12 all over 2. That's all I've done is instead of writing the square root of negative 12, I've written the square root of 12 with an I in front. Now I want to ask myself, hey, can I simplify the square root of 12? Well, I'm thinking about factors as if I'm going to do a factor tree, and I know that 12 is 4 times 3. And does the square root of 4 mean anything to me? Absolutely it does. It's the number 2. And so I can write 2i the square root of 3. All right. Again, I'm writing 2i the square root of 3 because the square root of 4 is the number 2. Okay, now what happens here is that a lot of times you guys want to try to divide this 2 into the radical. Even though we can't divide 2 into 3, you guys want to try to divide the 2 into everything. We never want to do that. All right, what we want to do instead is I want to write two fractions. So I write the 2 under the 14, and I write the 2 under the imaginary term. And I ask myself, can I simplify this fraction? Can I simplify these numbers? And the answer is yes. I end up with negative 7 plus i the square root of 3. And that is my final answer and note it's in this standard form where I have a real part plus an imaginary part.